Hi dear traders, Bitcoin has finally left the range of $16,000-$17,000 it has been stuck in for a few weeks. Other digital assets followed suit. The value of one of them even doubled, in fact. Stay tuned to find out more about events in the crypto market for the past seven days. Last year was not just another crypto winter, but more of an ice age. Therefore, the fact that Bitcoin broke major resistance at $17,000 at the beginning of 23 has become a nice gift under a Christmas tree. All in all, digital gold added 4.5% in the past seven days. Although it may seem unimpressive, this growth is essential to the flagship cryptocurrency. Once the price breaks another resistance at 17,662, the target of 18,500 could be reached shortly. Key support levels are seen at 17,300 and 17,050. This week the token has been mostly bullish, according to the chart of Bitcoin, moving up from the level of 17,218. The price reached the mark of 17,507 on Wednesday, January 11th. The crypto market went up along with other risk assets. Stocks, bonds and commodity currencies have been bullish this week. Investors are hoping for a slowing in the pace of the US Federal Reserve's monetary tightening, and their expectations are not without reason. The American economy has been showing signs of slowing in recent months with the services PMI decreasing to 49.6% in December. Given that any figure below 50 for the ISM non-manufacturing index suggests a contraction, the reaction of the market is perfectly natural. Today the United States will see the release of its inflation data. The US central bank keeps a close eye on core consumer prices. Core inflation, excluding fuel and food prices, has now been declining steadily in the US for the three months straight. Markets see the fall in the reading as a sign of further slowdown in inflation and the reduction in the pace of rate hikes by the Federal Reserve. Therefore, stocks, bonds and crypto are growing. Meanwhile, the US dollar index is extremely volatile at around 103 ahead of the big release. A fall in inflation and the potential change in the Federal Reserve's monetary stance may trigger a rise in Bitcoin and other digital assets. Thus, Ether hit a fresh high this week. On Wednesday, it soared to $1,343. On Friday, January 6, Ether traded at a low $1,242. It then went up following the release of data on the U.S. labor market. Ether has since been either bullish or consolidating as the US dollar strengthens. The year 22 was a milestone in the history of Ethereum. In September, it moved to the green proof-of-stake algorithm. Now, the Ethereum network developer team is preparing to launch the Shanghai upgrade, which will allow Ethereum withdrawals for users. Since the upgrade is expected in March, the Shanghai public Testnet should hit the floor already at the end of February. In the past seven days, Ether gained 9.9%, twice as much as Bitcoin. Other altcoins surged even higher. It seems that crypto investors were closing positions and multi-month lows attracted buyers. As a result, prices went up. Thus, Cardano advanced by 30% in seven days and traded as high as $0.34 on Monday. At the same time, Solana added as much as 50% in seven days. Trading at the low of $12.8 on Friday, the price swelled to $17.1 on Monday. In fact, a sharp increase in Solana was triggered by the FTX meltdown. Although the FTX collapse has caused financial damage to some investors and discouraged others from trading in the crypto market, it still has far-reaching consequences. 
While investments in Bitcoin, altcoins or stable coins made their cycle in the crypto industry, they played as if in their own field. But once the FTX fiasco came to the point of court trials and arrests, everything changed. Now federal prosecutors are investigating the relationship between Binance and US-based hedge funds for potential money laundering breaches. Meanwhile, disgraced cryptocurrency tycoon Sam Bankman-Fried was hit with multiple criminal charges, including conspiracy fraud and money laundering. It seems that the U.S. Department of Justice and the Securities and Exchange Commission are using Bankman-Fried's situation to scare away potential crypto criminals and show how dangerous, in the opinion of the U.S. authorities, the crypto industry is. The other day, Ripple CEO Brad Garinghouse took to Twitter to deliver a message that efforts to bring regulatory clarity to crypto in the U.S. stalled. He also noted that Singapore, Brazil, Japan, the UK and the entire European Union are ahead of the U.S. in terms of having crypto frameworks. He stressed that the lack of coordinated standards globally continues to push business to countries with lower regulatory bars and with sometimes catastrophic results, such as the FTX implosion. All in all, Brad Garlinghouse was cautiously optimistic that the 118th Congress will finally bring some regulatory clarity for crypto. Clearly, crypto and blockchain will still remain indispensable tools of the economy. After all, even despite the setback of 2022, many large banks and financial institutions continue incorporating digital assets. Even the aftermath of the FTX collapse could still be beneficial, as it will set the stage for more responsible investment. InstaForex TV team wishes you lucrative investments and productive trading. You're welcome to leave your comments if you have any questions. See you in a week. Bye.